Final from San Francisco where it was a blowout. Golden State wins by 30. 142 to 112. Steph Curry pumps in 30 points. Uh, Jordan Poole 27. Klay Thompson 21. Jonathan Kaminga goes for 18. John Morant leading the way for the Grizzlies. They clearly needed Dylan Brooks. He was suspended for this game uh, for, for his hit on uh, on uh, Gary Payton the second. And um, look, they, they needed him, but w- would his presence mattered? Probably not. They lost by 30. I mean, the Warriors were on a historic pace in terms of shooting. I mean, they were 67% at one time. They finished 62.7. I mean, that's basically lights out when you think about how good they were shooting. Look, they got predict- production from Otto Porter Jr. The bench is so deep. Jordan Poole comes off the bench and Brick gives you 27. Look, the, the Warriors right now, and you might get caught up in the moment, like, man, these Warriors are going to win the we're gonna win the NBA title. They, they might. They just might. I mean, they're that good. They can shoot this this well. The big story also, John ja Morant leaving in the middle of the fourth quarter with a right knee injury. We will continue to monitor that because that will be a huge storyline going into game four, which is Monday back in San Francisco. Welcome in CBS Sports NBA insider Bill Ryder. Bill, uh, absolute clinic by the Golden State Warriors as they win by 30, shooting 63% from the floor. What did you see from the Warriors as Game 3 shifts to San Francisco? Yeah, this is just one of those nights, if you're the Memphis Grizzlies, where you just have to say to yourself, these guys made two-thirds of their shots for a big chunk of the game. Every single person in a Warriors jersey was hitting hitting buckets. I mean, you put me in a Warriors jersey on this night, Akeem, I might actually make some, make some shots. It's just one of these evenings where the Warriors are too good. They're too good offensively. This is a very good Grizzlies team. They're not this bad defensively. You just Now, the John Moran thing is a different topic, but in terms of this night, this outcome, you just have to let it go through Memphis. Yeah, they were absolutely incredible. Again, uh, Steph Curry leading the way for Golden State with 30 points. A perfect 14 for 14 from the free throw line, which I always like because, you know, I appreciate that. Make your free throws, kids. Uh, the other big story here is John ja Morant leaving in the middle of the fourth quarter with a right knee injury, uh, the same knee that he has had issues with in the past. Bill, I mean, look, this is obviously a big issue if he is out uh, for more than a game or two here. How concerned are you right now in terms of what you saw uh, from Ja leaving the game in the fourth quarter? Yeah, Akeem, obviously it's always hard to know, and we're speculating this soon after uh, a moment like this, but Ja's reaction, right, throwing something on the uh, on the bench, looking frustrated, limping off, the fact that he missed almost a third of the regular season with, with a knee injury, I'm extraordinarily concerned. It is a huge problem, obviously, for Memphis, and we saw tonight how good this Warriors team is. Now, now look, John Morant's amazing, had an amazing game before the injury. What I'm about to say doesn't take away from that. What's interesting, and maybe maybe we'll see unique about Memphis, is they lost Ja for a huge chunk of the season, and they still went 20-5 and five without him. Now, it's a different deal altogether playing the Warriors, but there has to be some level of confidence, and there's certainly a track record that they can still play at a high level without Ja, but obviously, that, not, that notwithstanding, what a terrible night for Memphis as they wait with bated breath to see exactly what John Morant's status will be for the remainder of the series. What have you learned about this Warriors team? Because, look, if John Morant misses a game or whatever it might be, or if he doesn't miss any time at all, like you said, they were fine without him when he was injured. They were able to have guys step up. But Golden State, look, they're firing on all cylinders right now. If this team stays healthy, we're looking at a a deep run here. What have you learned through the first three games of the series from Golden State? Yeah, Yogi Berra said it, right? It's deja vu all over again. I was at, and I I think maybe the final 30 games of that regular season, Akeem, when the Warriors won 73 games before Kevin Durant came in when they uh, fatefully lost to your Cleveland Cavaliers after going up 3-1. And the level of excellence that Warriors team showcased and the depth that Steph Curry and Klay Thompson brought out in other guys, this is eerily similar. I know it's another group of players. I understand you know, Jordan Poole, go down the list, Kaminga, Jonathan Kaminga, different guys. But not just Steph Curry and the fact that he's Steph Curry again or Klay Thompson and the fact that he's capable of having a really big night or Draymond Green and what he does to anchor what is statistically the best defense of the NBA this year. This reminds me of that old Warriors team in the sense that, I mean, Steph Curry barely took shots in the first half, and they still were fairly comfortably ahead. And then Curry comes out, and all the excellence of everyone else that he helped create, and all the shooting excellence and the open shots he helped create, gives him the cushion to have this incredible second half. 
What I see is a Warriors team that is a reminder of how dominant they were before, how well coached and well run this organization is. I think there's three or four near favorites to win an NBA championship this year as I sort of have watched this postseason. If the Warriors are not at the top of that list, Akeem, they're really close. Mm, they shoot 63% from the floor, and it equals a 30-point victory. Take a 2-1 series lead. Bill Ryder breaking it down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Bill, thank you. And here's a look at the series schedule. Game four coming your, mon uh, coming your way Monday uh, back in San Francisco as the Warriors will look to take a commanding 3-1 series lead before they head back to Memphis for Game 5 on Wednesday. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.